All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sportsdom coming back with another video. And the last two NFL coaching vacancies have been filled. Uh, and these are no surprise. These were um, known for weeks, uh, but they couldn't be hired until the two teams in the Super Bowl uh, finished their season. So the Miami Dolphins hire... New England Patriots defensive play caller Brian Flores as their new head coach. Uh, Flores hires former Colts and Lions head coach Jim Caldwell as assistant head coach and Patriots receivers coach Chad O'Shea as his offensive coordinator and Packers assistant Patrick Graham as defensive coordinator. Now, uh, he knows the... the New England Patriots like a book because he was, uh, he ran their defense and now that he's the Miami Dolphins head coach, he knows how to beat the New England Patriots. And I think that uh, this Patriots dynasty is about to come to an end because there's two teams in the AFC East that know the Patriots like a book. That's the Bills and the Dolphins. So the, this run that the New England Patriots have had, I think is just about to come to an end because Brian Flores is now the Miami Dolphins head coach. And he knows this team like the back of his hand. He knows that defense. He knows how to tear it apart. And he knows how to destroy that defense. So I think when Miami plays New England, Miami's going to win because Brian Flores, who won the Super Bowl with the New England Patriots, uh, is now the Miami Dolphins head coach. So congratulations to our AFC Eastern Division rival Miami Dolphins on their new head coach, Brian Flores. And now uh, the Cincinnati Bengals hire Los, Los Angeles Rams quarterbacks coach uh, Zach Taylor as their new head coach. Taylor is expected to hire Las Vegas Raiders quarterbacks coach Brian Callahan as his offensive coordinator. Taylor is the second youngest head coach at 35 years old behind his former boss, 33-year-old Sean McVay, uh, who is in... Uh, I think it's his second year as head coach for the Los Angeles Rams and uh, took them to the Super Bowl. So congratulations to the Cincinnati Bengals. Like I said, these two coaches were known for weeks uh, that they were going to be hired by these two teams, but they couldn't be hired because they were still in the playoffs and eventually went to the Super Bowl. The Dolphins and the Bengals couldn't make it official until uh, these two teams were either eliminated or won the Super Bowl. So uh, let's go over the eight uh, coaching hires uh, that were made this year. The Denver Broncos hired Vic Fangio as their new head coach. The Miami Dolphins hired Brian Flores as their new head coach. The Cleveland Browns hired Freddie Kitchens as their new head coach. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers hire Bruce Arians as their new head coach. The Arizona or the Green Bay Packers hire Matt LaFleur as their new head coach. The Arizona Cardinals hire Cliff Kingsbury as their new head coach. The Cincinnati Bengals hire Zach Taylor as their new head coach. And the New York Jets hire Adam Gase as their new head coach. So there you have it. All the coaching vacancies have been filled. Now it, it will be uh, on to free agency and the draft so these guys can uh, get the players they want uh, with their teams. Um, and we play uh, quite a few of these teams that have new head coaches this year. Uh, we'll see Brian Flores and the Miami Dolphins twice. Um, I do believe we play... We'll see Adam Gase in the New York Jets twice. We'll see Vic Fangio in the Denver Broncos. I do believe we play the Denver Broncos. Yes, we do. So we'll see Vic Fangio. And I do believe we play the Browns and the Bengals. So uh, we'll see uh, Freddie Kitchens and Zach Taylor uh, this year. So it's going to be interesting. And uh, congratulations to the Cincinnati Bengals on your new head coach, Zach Taylor, and congratulations to the Miami Dolphins uh, on your new head coach, Zach Taylor.
or Brian Flores, I mean. Uh, congratulations, Cincinnati Bengals, on your new head coach, Zach Taylor. And congratulations, Miami Dolphins, on your new head coach, Brian Flores, uh, from the New England Patriots. So, comment in the comment section below on what you think of these hires. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. This is Sports Dumb. Peace.